Islam Wars, this is Jaleel QL bringing you today's word of the day. Today's word of the day is nationalization. So what is nationalization? It's an act that denotes that it had become part of a nation by some process of law whereby private individuals or corporation has been for specified reason deprived thereof. So that is not to be confused with naturalization. So let's take a look at the chart. On this chart there are four rankings of a nation. You have the nationals, the naturalized citizens, the 14th amendment, and the foreigners. Notice that you see at the top of the rank is nationals. So we're encouraging our unconscious Moors to nationalize so you can be at the top. Then there is naturalization, the second where you have Europeans that are naturalizing. So for example, we take a scenario. If you are an unconscious Moor, currently a 14th Amendment status chattel property, you have the opportunity to nationalize by going to the top of the rank where you have rights. If you are a European or a foreigner or even an Asian living outside of our land, you will start as a foreigner, which is at the bottom of the list, and go to the second ranking, which is becoming a naturalized U.S. citizen or a U.S. citizen for, corp for the U.S. corporation. So, if you notice why the, the naturalization is only second, because they are not national. So we have many Europeans and Asians that are doing much better economically on our land because they are one step above the 14th Amendment chattel property. So you know what that means. We have to nationalize our brothers and sisters and get them informed about why there is benefits and rights also being at the top of the list. So I'm going to show you a few clips of some of the unconscious Moors nationalizing stepping into their proper self and having a proper status. Take a look at the videos. standing between the difference of nationalization and naturalization. Don't be fooled in naturalizing because you have the right to your estate. What I recommend is you get yourself the Black's Law Dictionary so you have a better understanding of the words that they come across to you on a daily basis. I'm Jaleel QL. Thanks for watching.